Hello, hello, DIY friends, and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your own Etsy dupe of etched glasses, and it is so simple and easy using Dollar Tree products. I am also going to show you how to make it so that you can wash it and it stays on there while using spray paint. And this is so simple and easy, and I'm sharing the links to these Etsy glasses on my screen now in the description for you in case you wanted to purchase them. So let's jump right into the video. The first thing you want to do is to actually make the design so that you can get this cut out on contact paper. I am using Dollar Tree contact paper in my silhouette cameo. If you do not have a cameo, this may be a little bit more difficult for you to actually go through all the cutting, but this makes it so much more easier if you have one. And depending upon how many children you have, um, this will also help make sure you have everything lined perfectly. And I'm also going to be putting their birth dates underneath of their names so that it can just be so much more personalized and so beautiful for the gift I have for their dad. Now everything has been cut out and I cut out all of the excess contact paper as well. Now I am attaching it to the actual transfer paper that I will use to place it onto my Dollar Tree glass. Now the glass I found at Dollar Tree, it was a bit challenging because it had a divot at the very bottom for an easier grasp of your hand. And because it wasn't all one uh, type of glass and it was like wavy and stuff I had to do a lot of adjustments when it came to applying this contact paper but hopefully if you do go Dollar Tree and you find yourself a glass that is a lot easier than what you see here this will be a breeze if you do not find one like that and you find one the one like the one I have on the screen just know you will have to do a little bit of adjustments towards the bottom so that you can have everything aligned on the glass without it bulging up and being unable to be applied without issue. Now once you remove that transfer tape, you're going to use your thumbs to just press all the contact paper flat onto the glass. Now my glass at the bottom, as you can see, is bulging up a whole lot. So I decided to get my X-Acto knife and to cut a straight line from end to end which will allow me to remove this contact paper so try to reposition it a lot better on the glass due to it bulging so much so I got my um, rem removal tool that I use for my for my weeding and I am going to just basically remove this entire bottom half which is not even a lot because I only have like a couple of zeros so I would just have to reposition the centers of the zeros on the bottom of the glass to make it so much more flatter than it was because I would not be able to etch with this all bunched up like that and once I repositioned everything and got it flat this is how it looked it came out so much better once I had removed it and repositioned it now I'm going to be taking some painters tape to align all around the actual contact paper and if you look in the back part you can see any open areas that me have that you need to cover up with that painters tape and that was the type of spray paint that I'll be using to spray all over the front part to get it etched and I was using press and seal to cover all other areas of the glass while I spray painted it. Then I had applied some Marge Podge dishwasher safe to my whole etch design which I was done so that I can wash it and it will stay there and not come off. And that was all I did once I removed all the extra pieces and it came out perfectly. I hope you enjoyed my video. Make sure you like and subscribe.